Hi guys, welcome back to the Road to 2000. Last time we had an absolute disaster. We dropped, we dropped from the 1900 highs after four months of training away from away from chess.com. I came back to push to 2000 and it's just, it just went downhill. I'm at 1850. So today we're going to get it back, hopefully. Come on, 10 minutes, let's go. Stay hydrated. And we got a D4. What was I going to... I'm going to try a new opening here. I've never played this before, so this should be fun. Is this a Dutch? Is this a Dutch? I don't know what a Dutch is, to be honest, guys. But I saw some streamer playing this. Oh, you can't even play that. What's going on? Uh, This? Oh, this isn't what I wanted, guys. Anyway, at least it's not a Slav. That's what I was going for. Just anything but a Slav. Uh, maybe I have to play this and not break at the center. But still, at least I've got my bishop out. I just played this one game in the Slav and it really depressed me. <laughs> and it, and uh, that's not the goal of chess, you know. We want to play exciting positions. We can just develop and defend. Apologies. That's very, very uncouth of me there. Picking my nose on, on camera, guys. Sorry about that. Um, all right. Uh, castle? I mean, the rook looks quite nice there. Castle here puts my king on the open line, so let's just do this. Good trade off there. Bad boy knight? Yeah, I quite like that. Gives me this open file, and I've got... Oh, what am I doing? I just drops a pawn. <laughs> okay. Uh, this hitting the queen, and round. Maybe rook to the open line. Got another tempo we can gain on the queen here. We can also break in the center, undouble the pawns. Let's try and make some progress in the center here. I think my development's slightly better than theirs. Yeah, and fair enough. Yeah. See if I take, I'm just left with doubled pawns. So hit the queen then. Try this. And then my idea, really, with opening this file was maybe king up and rook over and attack down this uh, h-file. Yeah, so he pressures my knight. Uh, um, I mean, this to hit the queen again. This looks a bit weird. Like, can he just attack the pinned piece? I don't want to do any of that nonsense. What am I doing? Um, double the rooks, I guess. <laughs> I'm just hanging these doubled pawns all over the place. Um, yeah, so I've hung two pawns. I'm trying to hang a third as well. Uh, I guess this then. I, am I playing a little bit quick? I think I am. Yeah, I am. But my opponent's playing super quick. This kicks the knight and then wins this pawn. Uh, how do I even defend this pawn? I can't. All right, let's try this. <laughs> allow him to kick my knight. Allow him to win the pawn. This is not going good, guys. Also, this is just a fork. After he kicks the knight. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I, I really don't know what this is. I think I was trying to speak too much and forgot about the chess. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Like, just fork and... I mean, check, but then my knight's just hanging as well. <laughs> it's just... It's not great, is it? And now I'm down the exchange and like three pawns. And this is an isolated pawn. <laughs> oh dear. All right, maybe... Maybe we fork their king and rook? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just... 
Yeah, because I was thinking about this square. <laughs> but they pushed the pawn. So the rook defends that square now. One of the many benefits of this move, both defensively and attacking, it's just a lovely move to have. Stops things coming in. Defends this square here. Whereas now you're not defending that square. Well, you are, well it adds a defender. The rook's also defending, right? Yeah, that was one of the worst games I've ever played. I... I it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's only on the internet forever. <laughs> Alright. Alright, come on. Annoyed at myself now, guys. And therefore I'm playing a bit reckless. We're going to trap this bishop. Can I... I mean, this kicks him back. This, this, this. If this, this. Oh, I could do that, you know. Oh no, because my rook's hanging at the end. Uh... Oh, they don't see it, though. Take, take, take. <laughs> okay, well, that was lucky. Alright, slow down. I'm just... I've lost on time so many times, guys. That I don't know. It's just at this point in my chess career, it's, it's just a choice of what, how do I lose? Do I lose on time or do I lose the other way? Uh, I've got some pressure here. This. Oh, how do I add this then? How do I add? How do I get my queen here? The knight's stopping me. And I mean, I, bl I completely blundered that game. Just, just with this, this uh, rook takes rook idea. I completely blundered the game, but very lucky here. And now, queen's coming in. It looks okay. Very itchy nerves today, guys. I can't even speak. My mind's not working. <laughs> Today's. Alright. Um, he blocks. I do this, this, this. Don't do much, does it? I guess I should bring more pieces to the fight. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, can I ever do this? He just goes back. Alright, let's try to swing the knight in as well. I've definitely got some pressure here. I'm just trying to bring all the pieces to good squares and then hopefully something should emerge, hopefully around this square here. But right now it is defended like four times, so I probably shouldn't get my hopes up. Castles? Push? The castle the other way. So I can definitely castle here. Does this do anything? Not really. Let's get castled. Maybe this. Maybe smashing the center helps? I don't know. Maybe king over is just a good normal move. Uh, this inducing a weakness. Then back? No, because I think this just allows this. So I'm just going to leave the knight looking silly. And my bishop might open up here. You know, this. I mean, my knight's also pretty bad. Is that Serbia? Yeah. <sighs> Um, this and if I could get a knight in that would be smothered mate wouldn't it uh. 
All right, I'm going to break in the center. I don't really care. I I think I'm maybe a little bit better, but I do have a bit of a... That is my downfall, you know. I, I always think I'm better than I am. A bit too optimistic, but... You get to a certain point of facial hair, it just starts itching, and it's barely even out. <laughs> All right. This, this. I win the piece. So this, they have to go back. I mean, that looks like progress to me, guys. That's a bad bishop there. This, you if you take, you lose your queen. And if you take with a bishop, boom! I'm coming in. So this, this... Th wait, this, this, this. If you take me, I take you. Is that good? This he just takes. Oh, I, I feel like I've nearly got something here. Th this might work. This his only move is is this to pin the pin the knight. I take hitting his queen. If he takes my queen, I take his queen. He takes my knight. So I lose my knight and my queen. Ah, oh, that's that's good enough. Let's try it. And if this, this, that just loses to the alignment issue with the rook. Can queen take? No. So let's go down that line. He's not got- oh, I didn't check. His, if his queen could have checked me there, that would have won the game. Queen check, and then... Um, yeah, he wins. So he's not actually hitting anything at the end of this, so... Take his queen. And I just won... Just won a pawn there, didn't I? That pawn. It was okay. A tactic's a tactic, guys. Uh... This to hit hit his weakness, your weakness. <laughs> uh, your weakness. All right, I'm proper out of it today, guys. <laughs> you probably tell. Um, oh, but bang! I'm coming in with check. Surely this is great. This hitting two pieces at the same time. This oh, this knight takes. This rook takes, I'd have this move. Hitting rook, hitting knight. Um, I mean, I'm just a bit better, aren't I? Let's double the rooks. Hanging this. Or is it? If, if this, I go here this and then I just win it back and fork the rooks so yeah so it seems a bit double-edged to do that can I take now he takes I push no could I do this though pinning as well and threatening to double up that looks amazing I'm playing a little bit quick maybe but this just looks so crisp it's got to be right Now if this, just this, and if takes, I win the rook. A doubling up looks just brutal. So last game, guys, was... I can't even remember it. It was, it was sad, wasn't it? I think it was one of the ones I've blanked. Just blanked out my memory. Yeah, I hung like four pawns, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. It, he put, you know what that was? The, the other guy put me under pressure because he was moving so quickly. And uh, you just got to play your own game, guys, you know? You can't, you can't be uh, intimidated by their fastness. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You hear that gulp? Uh, the, I mean, this just looks great. Pressuring the bishop, pressuring the knight. Also, can we just attack this knight like this? I mean, the pig's on the 7th uh, rank also, a huge threat. 
And these bad boys coming in. How do you defend that? I don't think there's a way. And this would just win the night. So, this one in the night, and then... What was my other threat again? Yeah, just attack the pinned piece. Yeah, and normally in chess, that's how you win when you can set up two threats at the same time. And I don't think he can solve this problem and this problem. So, he gets the knight out of danger. Fair enough. This rook takes... Uh, this... This is interesting, actually. Could I have done that last move? No, I couldn't. But yeah, if he hadn't done this move, I could have gone this. And if rook takes... No, no. Alright, I'll just take the king a bit. I'm not sure. King comes this way and then there's no more checks. But I can threaten a mate like this. I mean, this is just... <laughs> it's, like, you, you can't survive this position. I know he's trying to defend, but when the opponent's rooks get on your seventh rank like this, it's just game over. I mean, this to threaten mate, how would they even... Like stop that. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them think about it, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy thinking about this one, Dida Mraz, twenty four oh six. Yeah, this is just surely not surely there's nothing here. This only move is blocking. Yeah, he resigns. Okay. So that was a 1-1. One, one. Uh, ultimately, I'm just glad I've started playing 10minutechess.com, guys. Because you get... I was just getting a bit tense about, ooh, 1900, ooh. You know, I've come off it a bit, but now I can just relax and just play a bit of 10 minute for fun. So hopefully we'll hit them all-time highs in 1900 very, very soon. And uh, like, subscribe to join me on the journey. See you next time. Cheers.